The man doing the thatching is Jerry Agnew from a hochel, and we thought that he was using barley straw. No, no, it's not uh, barley straw, it's wheat straw. And it's uh, straw from Ballymadon and it has to be lashed and or it has to be thrashed and lashed and combed and then that makes it ready for a few, yeah, it has to be binded first of all. And if you didn't do that, the straw would be broken. Yeah, so it has to be bend it and all the rest of it to make the right sort of straw. So you, you just you just don't stick anything up there? Oh no, no, no. You couldn't just stick anything like rushes or anything like that there because you want it to last and as a firmer straw and that does a better job. What What's the benefit of a thatched roof? Well, the benefit of a thatched roof is it's, it's insulated against the frost and it's insulated against the sun and in the summer time it's nice and cool and in the winter time it never loses its temperature inside the house it's nice and warm inside so you have heating and you have air conditioning yeah all in, all in one go long before those words were ever to tell it long before it you have beside you there some pieces of sticks there what are they for well them scallops and uh they this in here I'm holding here is what you call nearly the nails, the nails to hold on the thatch. And then these others here, the this bone here, is the liars or ones to lie on the roof that you peg into that. They just stick on there like a staple? Yeah, like a staple. And they, they, they're called scallops, but they, the right word them is the scope or rod. That would be a French word, likely. That's a French word. Uh -huh. And when would you have cut those, I suppose? Oh, have you seasoned it well? Oh, aye, last year, because you didn't if you didn't cut them last year, if you put them on green on the roof, they would grow. Well, they'd be a hedge up on the roof. <laughs> they will grow. Uh -huh. So those are those wee sticks are a year old? Yeah, a year old. More, maybe. A year and a half. Now, uh, I must say that's a very tidy, neat job you're doing there. How uh -huh. long would that last for? Well, hopefully 20 years. Hopefully 20 years, but that this house here doesn't get so much of the sun at the front. The back it will last far longer than the front. For what reason? I think it's the lack of sun allowed around the front. Does the sun would be sore on it than the weather then? No, the sun it needs the sun to let it breathe. That's so what we're talking about. You know, it needs to breathe the thatch. And on the front here, the sun doesn't have it the same. But in the back. It's, it's on a good a length of time, and it's still as good as ever. Well, you've got a full-time job thatching houses. Oh, aye, full-time. There's plenty of them still in the country. Oh, aye, piles of thatched houses. And people people are looking you when the rain runs on, but they're never looking you when they when it's sort of dry well. Yeah. So that's, when, that's whenever you would know when you would need thatch again, whenever the rain would start coming on. Aye, but this house here, now, there would be no rain run on on it. But this buddy here is waiting this year and more, right. me coming to So you're sticking that uh, score up, you're just sticking that onto what, into the old thatch? Into the old thatch, clean off any old bad bit. And then, you know, then, as you see there, we've built on a new bit there to sort of make sure that's solid. 